Now let us uh, look more towards the threat that threats that are there on the internet or what we will look in the internet security part of it. The threats are in the terms of say malicious softwares where for example you have downloaded a free software from the internet and along with the software there was a small malicious code which on installation uh, gives access of your system without any authentication to some other person who has uploaded that software. Some other uh, malicious softwares are viruses and worms and trojans and uh, lot many examples. Then we have uh, something called denial of service attacks. So denial of service attack is I am say running a application which will uh, take up all the resources of your server and nobody will be able to access that server and the function of that server will not be available to the people who are trying to use it. Then we have something called phishing attacks. So these days it, it has become a uh, lot common through phishing emails and messages when uh, say an email which claims to be from the bank asks you for your passwords and pins and though it looks like the bank's communication but it is uh, from a malicious ID or say a malicious person is sending those emails and if you happen to have answered those or say clicked on the links, they could have executed some code or the information that you entered has been sent to the malicious person. Then the fourth point or the fourth thread that we have is something called application vulnerabilities. Now applications sometimes develop or have some bugs and these bugs can sometimes be used to gain uh, unauthorized access. But all the companies that make these applications are uh, always trying to find those and fix those. And all those fixes come in terms of updates. So if you are not updating your applications very frequently, you might be prone to certain vulnerabilities. And these vulnerabilities could be used to gain access to your system.